So we taught you how to jailbreak your iPhone, and we even told you our top five reasons why you should jailbreak iOS 6, but still people ask us what makes jailbreaking worth it. So I'm Jaime Rivera. This is Pocket Now. I'm going to give you five different things that annoy me about iOS 6 and five different solutions that you can get with a jailbreak for free. Okay, so one of my biggest annoyances with iOS 6 is the fact that if you want to go to settings, you pretty much need to do it in the settings application. So you need to leave whatever application you're on to actually be able to do anything. The cool thing about jailbreaking is that there's this service that's free and that's extremely old called SBS settings. All you need to do is a little swipe and it'll give you different toggles to enable 3G, enable Bluetooth, control your brightness, for example, uh, turn on or off data location. You can actually even kill applications that are currently running in the background without the need to actually leave the service and you could just end it right there and that's simply it. SBS settings is completely free and it's worth every penny. It's completely skinnable and there are actually different toggles you can get. Another one of my annoyances with iOS is Siri. It's not the best voice assistant out there and the problem with Google Voice is you really have to go into the assistant and call it up. The cool thing about jailbreaking is that there's this free service called Now Now. You could be anywhere you want, and I have it set to tap and hold the clock. And there we go. Speak now, and how tall is Barack Obama? And it's taking its time. And it'll give me an answer, but the point is, Now Now will enable for you to use Google Voice Search. You can still call on Siri by pressing and holding, but if you don't want Siri, press and hold or whatever command you set it, and you can use Google Voice Search. So if you're asking yourself, how am I able to call on Voice Search by tapping and holding the clock? Or how am I able to call on SBS settings with a simple swipe? Well, that's because jailbreakers get this free service called Activator, and it's actually even available when you jailbreak. And the cool thing about Activator is that you can set the device to do whatever you want from anywhere. So let's say that I want to set triple press to do something specific. Let's look for something that I use usually, which would probably be going into whatever let's go into the equalizer so let's just get out of here one two three didn't get there right one two three and there we go here we are in the settings equalizer and the cool thing about activator is that you don't only set things whenever you're anywhere you could for example set that whenever you are within the home screen you get a specific call of action. Whenever you're within an application, you get specific commands. Whenever you're in the lock screen, you get specific commands. You can toggle anything to your volume up, volume down buttons, anything you want. You can even recommand whatever you want the home button to do, which is really cool. So there are even gestures included. I do recommend you have a look. Another one of my biggest annoyances with iOS is whenever I want to get rid of the keyboard. Let's say I'm in Evernote and let's say that I am writing a specific note right now and uh, I am typing right now, but I, for some reason, probably this note is long and I wanna get rid of the keyboard. Well, in iOS 6, you can't really do that, but there's this cool service called Pull to Dismiss that's free where you simply swipe and you get rid of the keyboard. You tap again to start typing, swipe down to get rid of the keyboard. It doesn't work if you try to do it from the keyboard. You actually have to do it from the top of the keyboard down. But again, whenever you're in any specific area that you want to get rid of the keyboard, just swipe down and you get rid of it. Really genius if you ask me. I really can't figure out why Apple hasn't done this. And finally, another thing that really annoys me is that, well, you only get four icons in the dock. You can't really select more icons. There are a lot of services that allow you to bring more icons to the dock, but there's a free one that you could just look for, which is called Five Icon Dock. It's completely free. And for example, in my case, I use Gmail a lot, but I also use messaging and Safari and mail and phone as well. So let's say I want to pull Gmail out of here and it's as simple as activating the service and now I get five icons on my dock. Again, these five services that we've just demoed are probably things you already knew about if you already uh, been to jailbreak communities in the past, but if you're completely new to jailbreaking, yes, these are five different things that completely uh, madden ourselves from iOS that you can simply fix with jailbreaking. And as you can see, these don't really require much resources from your device, so you're not really losing anything. It doesn't power down your battery, and it's just really cool. I do recommend it.
That's it for our quick video rundown of five different solutions that you could get with a jailbreak on iOS 6. We know that there are lots more out there, so make sure you leave us a comment down below with your solutions. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on your social network of choice, give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera from Pocketnow.com. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned because, yes, there are paid solutions out there, and that's our next video.